Well, welcome back to Soda City Live. The University of South Carolina Department of Veterans and Military Affairs will host the fifth annual USC Veterans Day 5K. The race raises money to support local veteran and military members and takes place on the university's campus. There's lots of food, music, running, walking, and more. This year, proceeds will benefit a veteran support organization, the Big Red Barn Retreat in Blythewood. Jared Evans is the executive director at the University of South Carolina, and Lamont Christian is the director of Warrior Path, which stands for Progressive and Alternative Training for Helping Heroes. Let me make sure, Jared, I have your title correct. It's the executive director of Veterans Military Affairs. You got it. At the University That's of South right. Carolina. Yeah. Well, so glad to have you, Thanks both for of you. Us. Yes, thank you. And for those who don't don't know about the Big Red Barn Retreat, which has been in the news a ton lately. Yeah. Explain a little bit specifically about Warrior Path that is available at the Big Red Barn. Yeah, so Warrior Path is just one of the services that's offered at the Big Red Barn Retreat. Uh, Big Red Barn Retreat is there for our defender community. And when I talk about the defender community, I'm talking about our combat veterans, our veterans, their families, and our first responders. You know, too often um, we don't recognize that our first responders who are still out there on the front lines need an opportunity to also find a place for respite care and the services that are provided for them and their families as well. So we offer uh, different things like yoga, tai chi, um, but Warrior Path is the foundational program that we offer at the Big Red Barn. And I tell you, for anybody who's not been by there, it's a beautiful facility right on 321 um, in Blythewood yes. and, and it's just wonderful. So Jared, why did you guys choose the Big Red Barn as a recipient of this year's race? Well, personally, I've been out there and I see the impact they have and the incredible work they're doing. And that's also true for a lot of uh, Gamecock veteran and military service members. Um, and so for us, it was a relatively easy decision. We, um, between Chris and, and Sutton and so many others that are out there that are truly leading um, the effort in providing the services and initiatives that they do to, again, vets, service members, first responders, uh, for us to support them and their mission. Um, again, it was a no-brainer yeah. decision for us. Well, and you know, Jared, some people may not realize you served in the military as well. And so you kind of are able to see the needs of veterans and what it is. So what is it about this race that makes it so special one, it's just being able to say thank you, right? Right. Yeah, and when we started the event years ago, we wanted to have a community event where any anyone from the Midlands could come out um, and thank veterans for their service uh, to our country. And we also wanted it, it, we were very intentional in creating an event that would be more than just a 5K. And so, you know, we've, we've got a live band. We'll have 1801 as our dedicated food and beverage provider. So even if you don't want to come out and run or walk, <laughs> um, we really encourage anyone from the community, just come out and have a good time and support an even greater cause. Um, have a beer, have some great food, listen to some awesome live music. Uh, so it will be uh, an incredible time. We've actually got some drill instructors coming up from Paris Island oh. to provide some uh, uh, positive motivation for individuals along the route, you know, and yeah, so we do fantastic. a lot. We have stroller challenges, dog challenges. We try to wow. mix it up a lot to uh, really make it a family friendly event and more than just a 5k. Wow, it really is. I didn't realize that. I'm just laughing thinking about it. I'm always trying to get people to become runners, you know, and you're like, or 1801 grill. So run or right, go and eat, right. whichever. Yeah. The, the course itself is really pretty neat. It starts mm -hmm. um, on Lincoln mm -hmm. Street and tell us about, it just kind of goes through that USC area. Yeah, absolutely. And that was something else we were very intentional about because there are several monuments along the route uh, veteran and military monuments, uh, both at the State House and then on campus at USC. And so we wanted to create that environment so as people mm -hmm. are running and walking, they can actually see some of the monuments um, that we have recognizing and honoring our veterans and military service members. That's awesome. Lamont, what's it mean to you just to know that, I mean, he's a, a veteran too, but What's it mean to you when you see groups like Jared's say, we want to be part of helping you guys? Yeah, there's all, always a level of gratitude that really can't be spoken in words. Mm. Like too often you'll hear someone say, um, thank you for your service. And so opportunities like this give us a chance to say, thank you for your support. Ah, yeah, I like that. Well, you two just made my day. Thank you for your service and thank you for your support. I love it. Here's the information on the screen. The 5th Annual University of South Carolina Veterans Day 5K is Sunday, November 13th at 2 p.m. 
Twenty-five dollars right. is the the price to be in it. But if you are a veteran or a student at USC, you can get, be in it for fifteen dollars. And if you're like under twelve years of age, it's even less than that. That's right. Yeah. And so it's just a great opportunity for you to support our veterans and thank them for their service. Gentlemen, thank you both of you for being here. Appreciate it thank so you. much. It'll be a good race and. Uh, Apparently good food. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Run and then eat or just skip the run just like eat. Jared yeah. said and eat. <laughs>